Hi, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the 16x2 LCD module. This is one of the most commonly used display modules in DIY electronics and embedded systems. That's why I'm making this video first, because I'll use these LCD modules in my future videos to show sensor data or any parameters. A display module is very essential in electronic projects where you need real-time feedback or status messages. The 16x2 in the name means that this display can show 16 characters per line, and it has two such lines. So in total, you can display 32 characters at a time. There are a lot of display combinations available like 8x2, 10x2, 16x1, 20x4 and more. This LCD module is available in different colors, but I have these blue displays with white characters. The display also features an LED backlight for clear vision that you can enable or disable. The module has a total of 16 pins, and each has a specific function. Let me quickly walk you through them with this diagram. This may sound like a lot, but we usually don't use all 16 pins. We can use the LCD in 4-bit mode, which requires 12 connections. This is the old method to use an LCD. Later in this video, I'll show how you can operate the module by an I2C adapter, which requires only 4 pins instead of 12 pins. I'm showing this old method because the adapter may not be available to everyone. Now, let's see how to connect this LCD with an Arduino board. You'll need an LCD, any Arduino board, a 10K potentiometer, some jumper wires, and a breadboard. Here's a simple wiring diagram for you to better understand. Connect all the components on your breadboard according to the diagram. After finishing, connect the Arduino to your computer and open Arduino IDE. But before uploading the code, we'll need to install the built-in Liquid Crystal library. Go to the library manager from here, search for Liquid Crystal, and install this one. If you've already installed this, then let go. Now go to examples, Liquid Crystal, and then open Hello World. This code will show the text Hello World on row 1, and count every second, and show this on row 2. You can change the text from here. With this set cursor function, you can show your data on any row or column. Now select your board and COM port and upload the code. And there it is. The LCD now displays Hello World and counts every second. Now I'm changing the text and cursor point for you to better understand. With this potentiometer, you can adjust the display contrast. Also, you can turn off the display backlight by removing the backlight wires. Now I'll show how to use the LCD with an I2C adapter module. I2C stands for Inter Integrated Circuit. It's a communication protocol that allows multiple devices to communicate with a microcontroller using just two pins. The standard 16x2 LCD uses a lot of digital pins which can cause problems in larger projects. But with an I2C module attached to the back of the LCD, you only need four wires including two power pins. The adapter doesn't use any digital pins and makes the setup cleaner and compact. The I2C connection is super simple. VCC to 5V, GND to ground, SDA to Arduino A4, and SCL to Arduino A5. That's it. To work with an I2C LCD, we'll need an additional Arduino library. Go to the library manager on Arduino IDE and search for Liquid Crystal I2C. Then install the one by Frank de Brabander. Now connect the Arduino and upload the I2C code. You can see the LCD works perfectly. The I2C adapter has a built-in potentiometer for contrast control and a jumper for enabling or disabling the LCD backlight. If your display doesn't work, you may need to scan for the I2C address using an I2C scanner sketch. The adapter has an I2C address that you need to include in the code. This is the I2C scanner code, I'll attach the code in the video description. After uploading the code, you can find the I2C address from the serial monitor. That's all for today. 
I hope this tutorial helped you understand the 16 by 2 LCD module. If you found the video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech and electronics tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.